Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maria. This is a channel about spirituality. Please subscribe below so we can be YouTube friends. This is my November energy update. You guys have been loving them so much, so I will continue doing my monthly energy updates. I love what I'm being shown about the month of November. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so do you, uh, let me picture this for you. The month of November is a dark, starry night. Like the sky full of stars. That is what they're showing me. And I haven't seen anything like it yet. It's beautiful. So the energies of the air, cosmic energies, the energies of the cosmos, the energies of ether, and the energies of earth are going to be very, very strong in the month of November. It is a month to uh, be a dreamer. It is a month to wish upon the, the star, actually. Um, we obviously have a very strong portal of 11 11. Love that portal. Love that portal. I always do something very special every year for 11 11. Um, my first book I launched on November 11th, actually. It was a special, special day for me, but not to digress. Um, this actually up and coming 11 11 portal is so stunning. Because if you add up um, the month, the day, and the year, you get an 11 again. <laughs> so the numerology of this 11-11 portal is 11. So we're going to have the triple 11 freaking wow. And when, when the numbers get aligned this way, you know that you're in for an orgasmic treat. I'm not even afraid of that word. It is going to be fantastic. It's going to be a fantastic portal. Now, I will make a separate video about the Love and Love and Portal. Let us talk about everything else November outside of this beautiful date. The month of November is going to feel in some ways feminine, but also very balanced. And when I say feminine and balanced, it sounds like an oxymoron, but not for planet Earth. Because in order for things to be balanced, we need to be in the feminine. So the darkness of that sky feels very enveloping. It feels like... Somebody's putting a, a warm plush blanket over you. And it's like a warm summer starry night. That is the vibration. And it's a vibration that's full of hope. So the month of November is going to bring a lot of hope. There's going to be almost like something for all of us to look forward to into the future. It's going to bring, um, for some of us, it's almost like we, we turn the corner and then we, we're like, oh, um, there is something fantastic that's waiting for me. Um, the month of November is going to be, there are a lot of optimistic energies in the month of November, but also a lot of the energies of alignment. It's, it's, it's like a perfectly balanced state between where you are and where the universe is so that you can gaze upon that wishing star and, and make that wish and know that that wish is going to um, come back to you. And you know that it's going to be fulfilled. The month of November is perfect for manifestation. Really, really, really good. Not just because of the love and love and portal. Usually love and love and is fantastic for manifestation, but it's just that energy of there's like an opening in the month of November for you, for you to pass unnoticed and bypass kind of like the impediments and step on a road that would lead you to your highest fulfillment, like anything you want. And you're not going to even have to deal with the drawbacks or like the, the system pulling you back or, you know, all of these impediments and obstacles that are normally on the way. So it is, wow, what a beautiful month. I did not expect this. Um, the energies of the air for the month of October, sorry, of November feel very expansive. Um, they feel very freeing and liber liberating. It feels like a gulp of fresh air in the mountains. And actually, in general, like if, you know, if I were to give you the smell for the month of November, it feels like mountainous air. Like when you are on the summit and you're able to breathe in, not the super high altitude because like breathing gets tough at, at super high altitude uh, altitudes, but when you're breathing in and your lungs are fully expanded and you're able to take in the world exactly as it is, but it also cleanses you and liberates you. So there's it's that kind of air in the month of November. There is going to be a cause for celebration for some of you uh, towards the middle of the month. Uh, they're around 15th, 16th, 17th. I see like little fireworks going up, out, um, or going up. And that means uh, there's a cause for celebration. Some of you may get good news. Some people are going to get pregnant in the month of November, not going to lie. And some people um, are going to learn about other people getting pregnant, and that's going to be the good news. Uh, so there, there's this new energy totally coming through 
oh my God, so many beautiful babies are going to be conceived in the month of November. Okay, you guys, if you're planning a child, I didn't, I didn't mean to say this. I like was not expecting this to come through, but I'm doing this in the flow. If you were looking to conceive, the month of November is perfect for special children to come through. So if you've been, you know, like wanting to bring in an indigo child or a rainbow child, like a high frequency angelic being, the month of November is perfect for you and, and your partner to conceive. So just saying, seize the moment, carpe diem. And again, that's, it's that expansion. It's like we have a whole new slew of like little, little warrior of light babies that are just ready to step in um, and into the bodies. And so they, they cannot wait to be conceived. <laughs> they cannot wait to incarnate. And, and they have this very beautiful energy of like very light and airy babies, but at the same time, like warrior spirits, amazing babies. Okay. Um, just saying. If you wanted to expand your family, extremely auspicious time, extremely auspicious time. The energy of Mother Gaia, also very nurturing in the month of November. However, again, um, because they're showing me the night, this is not necessarily the time to be extremely active out there, right, in the world. Because usually the, the months that are very active, where you're supposed to be very, very active, I see the sun. And we're not seeing the sun in the month of November. We're seeing the night. That means that you are meant to be on your internal journey right? You're meant to be a little bit withdrawn and within, which feels like a little bit of the continuation of the theme of October, but it's a little bit different. November doesn't feel like a sacred pause. It feels like a state of inner contentment and bliss, but also this hopeful outlook into the future, right? Now, does it mean that there's nothing bad that's going to happen in the month of November and you're not going to cry a single tear? I cannot guarantee that. Listen, it's a collective reading, right? Like there are always outliers. There are things that are happening, you know, somewhere something is, you know, off somewhere in, in the global grid, right? So, but again, as a global collective, November is a very beautiful month. Like I said, the energies of the earth are very, very strong in the month of November. What does that mean? That means that it is a really, really good time for you to start calling in your abundance, so energies of Gaia are completely in sync with the collective consciousness of humanity in the month of November. So you could completely tap into nature, completely tap into Gaia's spirit and bring in her force through your body, like embody her. And through that, a lot of abundance could, could come to, um, to you. Um, I said this is also the first time, actually, since I've started doing this updates in um, March, that the energy of ether is coming really, really strong. Um, the fifth element. I haven't seen it before. Ether is beautiful. Ether is, I mean, the energy of the cosmos, truly, um, is probably the best way to describe it in a third dimensional frequency, but it is that energy of potential. Think of ether coming through. Ether usually comes through when something needs to be birthed collectively or individually, um, and humanity needs building blocks for it. And it is like a gift from God or a gift from source. And this energy just descends upon our auric fields and penetrates our auric fields. And whoever is the one with a project that humanity requires in its next step in the evolution is going to really absorb um, those codes. So everybody who is willing to do the work, Everybody who is on the path is going to receive massive and massive injection of ether. And that is high frequency, high potency type of ether that literally is straight from source consciousness itself. It's like gilded white with some pink energies as well. Pink always means the higher heart, the higher heart. And that is going to be the, ooh, that 11, 11 portal. The heart energies are coming really, really strong. In fact, the 11, 11 portal is going to be all about the heart and mind connection. Not to spoil my, my video about the portal, but the heart and mind connection, balancing our masculine and our feminine. That is what that portal is all about. But because we are dreaming, right? So like, look at like the, all the synchronicities that are happening. We are dreaming, gazing upon the stars, making a wish, right? At the same time, the universe is aligning to send us all these massive amounts of ether of malleable substance of pure raw potent energy that we could take them within our bodies and start what the process of gestation the process of gestation is when you are receiving the seeds when you are planting the seeds it's not the time of harvest 
It is not even the time of action yet. It is the time to acknowledge what it is that you want, what it is that you want to create, what it is that you want to be. What is it that you want to see in the world around you? And plant those seeds very intentionally, right? So I highly, highly recommend that you do the intention planting or seeding practice, almost like a ritual. And if you can do it underneath the, the night sky, it would be fantastic, right? Like do stargazing in the month of November, if at all possible, wherever you are, even if just for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Because I know it for some of you is going to start getting colder outside. So you're like, okay, stargazing, Maria, like wrong season. If you can, it could be a very, very healing and nurturing practice. Um, for those of you that would love to communicate with extraterrestrials, extraterrestrials are becoming very, very active. Not that they haven't been active before, but in the month of November, they are going to start connecting with a new wave of humans. Uh, because again, all these cosmic energies are coming through and they're like, okay, window of opportunity. Let's build those channels. Let's build those portals. So a lot of people are going to start getting contacted. Um, so this is good news, I think, right? Um, I know a lot of you would love to communicate with extraterrestrial species. So I think that that's beautiful as well. I like looking at the blessings and the curses of the month. So let's look at the blessings of November. Although I feel like the entire video up until this point has been the blessings of November. A lot of beautiful high frequency codes, uh, again, streaming. So again, a window of opportunity to really shift, to really shift and, and, and go um, like up a notch. Um, it's, it's almost like humanity's wings are growing. Uh, it's like we get this in, in injection of like self-belief, like belief in oneself on a collective level. Which is so beautiful because humanity, one of humanity's affliction is, uh, major afflictions is the smallness, this not enoughness syndrome, right? And so when we get a collective shot in the arm of, you got this, you're bigger than you think you are, you have potential, you are a beloved child of God, you can make anything happen. What, once those energies descend literally into our auric fields straight from the cosmos, it's a gift. I call it the greatest, greatest blessing. So you may be surpri surprised in the month of, uh, of November. Rather, you may surprise yourself in the month of November with how audacious you are as far as your dreams and intentions. Fantastic time to set intentions. Fantastic time to also close certain loops, actually. So it's really, really good for closure. But usually this closure, uh, this is the closure of creative projects or creative endeavors. So if you've been, you know, looking to complete something, especially like a long-standing project, do that in the month of November. You're going to be ready for that next cycle. Um, in the month of November, it's it's a really good energy for rest and reset. So don't go at hyperspeeds, you know. Go gentle on yourself. You may want to withdraw. You may want to go easy on like events and parties and things like that if you can. And I know, hey, November is Thanksgiving in, 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 in the U.S., so... People are going to be like, you're. Okay, it's okay to be with family. The parties that I was referring to were more like, I don't know, outside, like, I don't know, somewhere with like a bunch of friends, like large groups of people, like that type. That is not necessarily the energy of, of November. Or rather, like if you choose to do that, you're going to miss out on the energies of November, right? It's, it's a little bit more about being in your own zone, understanding what it is that you want, painting the picture of your future right? You get to be the artist in the month of November. You get to call the shots. You get to decide. And then you get to manifest it, right? Because there's, again, that window of opportunity and a very little resistance. Usually there's so much resistance. Our reality is so inert that it is extremely, extremely hard for a lot of people to um, accomplish their um, goals. But not in the month of November. The things that you set for yourselves as goals and intentions in the month of November may be extremely easy for you to accomplish. And part of the reason is you are being inspired from the very top echelons of, uh, of energy, right? Almost uh, as high as source consciousness itself. And so it's a divine calling, right? So if you have an idea in the month of November about doing something completely out of the left field, even if you have never studied for it, and you have no idea about how to jumpstart that, that thing, that aha thing, I don't know, that that idea that you had. Um, the month of November is the time to do it. And it's really, really good for depth. 
uh, deep conversations, deep work, deep personal work. Shadow work actually is really good in November uh, for those of you that are fans of shadow and parts work. What's not to love? So really, really good time to go within and go deep. Like go like 10 layers deep, really understanding your own personal motivations, understanding what, what makes you you and understanding why you are the way that you are. In terms of the curses for the month of November, again, not really good for active uh, being out there. So you may feel challenged if your like work schedule requires you to be too much out there. It may be a little bit challenging. You you may feel like okay, your like your little home buddy, your little uh, Herman the crab is 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 giving you <laughs> um, like a pushback um, around being too active, right? So it's hard. Um, there are also uh, like times, like days, like um, a few pockets of days that feel like a vacuum, energetic vacuum in the month of November, where you may feel a little bit discombobulated, where the energies are going to be so weird that it's almost like. Um, yeah, it feels like space is created, but space is not filled. And it is strange um, as an incarnated human because usually our energies are very dense and there is usually a lot happening in the collective soup of, of humanity. But the month of November is going to have these pockets where it's like crickets. <laughs> it's almost like if you try to connect to hear the vibration, it's like you would not hear anything. And these pockets come as like insulation material to help create space for you to do the, the the introspection work, to go within, to really understand what it is that you want to wish upon the star, right? Like these pockets are not detrimental. But if you don't know what you're signing up for or if you are not expecting them, it may feel a little strange. Like some of you may even feel like, okay, like I have a, like a little headache. Like where is this headache? But it's 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 like we're so used to pressure that space feels discombobulating. That's a little bit like, or you like essentially may feel spaced out, or you may feel like you're not able um, to focus on something. And it's because the energies of November are very dispersed. They're not very focused. Again, you're not meant to be in massive action, especially on things that are new, right? You're not meant to be laying foundations for anything, not yet. You're meant to be in this dispersed, almost feminine energy in the month of November. And by feminine, I mean very receptive, very intuitive, very introspective, very mild, very soft, very gentle, not push, push, push. Um, those type of Martian energies are, are not going to be at home in the month of November. But again, if you know what you're signing up for, it could be a very, very beautiful ride. Um, yeah. And what else? The Earth crust is is going through some some challenges now. That that has been um, the case for a while. So there are there is magma moving underneath the Earth plates. Um, some plates are going to be moving the tectonic plates. So there could be some unfortunate you know shakeups here and there. But it's again the Earth needs to readjust itself in the month of November um, because the Earth also needs to receive these etheric codes. The earth is also here needing and wanting to receive that ether. And it needs to adjust its body. It needs to stretch out a little bit, right? Um, but again, nothing crazy. Like minor things could happen um, with the tectonic plates. So that's that's probably the other thing, right? So the earth is readjusting. We're all on the same journey. All of the same codes are coming for all of us, right? And so I think we just have to be patient and understanding with Gaia, our beautiful mother earth as she's going through her process of receiving the codes because every time she receives the beautiful codes she integrates them she gives them back to us when she's ready right so we just have to be patient as she goes through the process so don't push yourself in the month of november allow yourself to dream allow yourself to dream higher bigger than you possibly have uh, ever done and there's that window of opportunity and allow yourself to enjoy actually beautiful energies, allow yourself to stargaze, and journal. Journaling is really good for the month of November. Again, that introspection. The stuff that's going to come out, out of you when you're journaling in the month of November is going to blow your mind because there is that depth, that inner depth that is coming out of you, again, that water. And it's coming to bubble certain things to the surface that need to be seen and witnessed. And who needs to witness those things about yourself? You do. So this is a time to face yourself fully.
And for that, you need time, right? So scheduling even more a meditation time, even more one-on-one time, not blaming yourself if you want to stay in and just do the work, right? That is the month of November. Well, please let me know below down in the comments if you, if you have been feeling the energies, if you are excited about this. I am super excited about this starry night sky. Honestly, I can't wait. And I can't wait to record the 1111 portal video for you as well, guys. Alrighty. Well, I'm sending you a big virtual hug and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.